It's currently 7.31 p.m. About an hour ago was when I finished the fifth Leprechaun drawing. The next drawing to do is a second Josh Allen star film drawing of the Buffalo Bills. Thing is, I did the first one on a piece shaped like this. Yeah, but the person I'm doing the second Josh Allen drawing for who would prefer that it be done on a piece shaped more like this one right here. Uh, this is a currently unfinished Chris Stapleton drawing, which I believe will eventually be intended for my mom. Uh, Dad recently signed for his house, telling me that right beforehand that he had to sign his name 80 times. Presumably that means he had to fill out a lot of paperwork for it. Well, there were plans for us to go to Salvatore's, but instead, Dad ordered pizza from Toronto's. And that's where the pizza wings and the fried dough comes from. I was up today until about 6 in the morning doing the, basically coloring in the back of the 5th Leprechaun's jacket, for which I essentially decided there didn't need to be that much detail. It's just that the back of the kind of jacket I did doesn't have that much detail on the back. It's not the kind of jacket that has that has a hood to it. And it's not thin enough that there would be an outline of your backbone on it. For the for there to be a backbone outline, you would either have to wear no top or it would have to be a very thin Sure. I recall waking up around maybe around one PM.
around 1 p.m. was when I got up today. And it was at that point that I started having essentially cold brew coffee. From then, throughout when I had some of the leftover mac and cheese Dad made the other day. Putting in the two less spicy of my Christmas man crates spices. And melting in some cheese. As well as some leftover sausage. It was pretty good. I drink coffee, plain coffee for the taste. rather than for caffeine. So I sip at it slowly. I had about three cups from one in the afternoon to about seven in the evening just about. Three fifteen PM was around the time I had the mac and cheese and sausage left over. I'm currently watching slash listening to, at this point, old episodes of Arthur, because some of them teach some pretty good lessons about something that's relevant to me, which is about how you can how you can reach a goal if you consistently work towards it. As such as Arthur weighs in. Another one I watched was Arthur makes a team since I thought it would be about him working consistently to make a sports team, but instead it ended up being more about the importance of teamwork. And now, I'm about to watch the episode Buster Makes the Grade. I stumbled upon it while looking for that episode I remember, but not the name of, in which Arthur... That episode of Arthur in which he signs up to run... He, I believe it was a 3K in order to raise money for his local library. And if I recall correctly, his family helped him to prepare for the run, which is something very important to do, 
So you should prepare for anything athletic you plan on doing. Actually, that goes for anything in general. This is pretty good. Uh, I've been having a glass of milk so far. It's currently 10.16 p.m. And I'm thinking currently for this styrofoam piece, while I wait for Dad to take me back to Mom's place, so I can get a piece of styrofoam that's the same shape as the one I did the fifth leprechaun drawing on. I could, on the piece I just showed, I'm currently thinking of drawing the Penguin from Batman. I got the idea to do the Penguin from Batman because about an hour or so ago I went out of the spare room and into the living room while Dad was having a phone conversation with my sister. And then Dad mentioned... Something about there being a Philadelphia convention next year. Supposedly it's one of those Comic Con conventions. And I could have a table there if Dad pays $350. Or that fee could be split with someone else. A friend of my sister, if I'm able to have a lot of comic book characters drawn by next year. And because of Marvel and DC, because they're the two biggest names in terms of comic books, When I think of comic book characters, I think of superheroes and villains. As such, that's how I got the idea. To draw the penguin while I wait to be able to draw... Josh Allen. Because the Penguin is one of the villains of Batman, it turns out he's a DC character, not a Marvel character, because... Batman is part of DC, not Marvel. Uh, 
most likely my depiction of the penguin is going to be based off his appearance from Batman the Animated Series. As that's the iteration that drew me in the most when I searched essentially the Penguin Batman on Bing. It turns out that episode of Arthur I talked about in which he ran the 3K, it's called You Are Arthur. It's a rather special episode of Arthur. In which you mostly view the episode from Arthur's point of view. I couldn't find it on YouTube, but I was able to find it on Daily Motion and have so far watched some of it. And it turns out I did I did watch it before. <clears throat> yeah, but this is the first time in a while and yeah, I didn't remember it completely. It turns out. Also, at some point today, most likely sometime in the evening, evening at the latest, sometime in the mid to late afternoon at the earliest, I would imagine, I, I ranked up my first... Beautiful Warrior, as they're called in Queen's Break, Queen's Blade, Limit Break, to six stars. And I did this to Swift Tracer Elena. Hey, even though I don't consider her to be that good, or at least not the best, if for my team. She's one of three break attribute beautiful warriors that cost 45... Oracle... Cress yeah, which is something that makes me assume that they this makes them the best break attribute heroes as why else would they cost more Oracle Cress than other break attribute heroes? I have all three of the break attribute beautiful warriors. That costs 45 Oracle Crests in my team. The other break attribute heroes that could potentially be better, those are only attainable through events. The worst come to worst, I could use a uh, the six the new six star Swift Tracer Elena in my second team for the Sanctum event that is refreshed roughly every two days in Queen's Blade. Limit break. <laughs>